What's going on YouTube? Welcome back with Dread Life 101. Today I gotta drop another video on y'all. Uh, all we're gonna be talking about today is why people would cut their dreadlocks off. I mean, I don't understand, but we're gonna go over a few reasons of why it might happen. Let's go. So, number one on the list today, why people would wanna cut their dreadlocks. Thinning locks is always gonna be a major issue for any dreadhead. Um, trying to go through that process of either starting your locks or you might be already a seasoned uh, veteran in the game and your locks are just thin at the roots. They've always been thin and maybe for whatever you're going through in your life, they're starting to get real loose and real short and uh, kind of shisty at the bottom, you know. Um, I also went through this as well. I had a few up on the front edge. Um, I don't think I have any on the majority of my head. Just along the front edge is when people start to get this, um, like this thinning effect on their hair. Um, so what I did personally would just have someone go through and sew my dreads together to make them a little bit thicker. That way the root can continue to grow. I didn't lose any hair and everything is all good. Another reason why people might want to cut their dreads, maintenance. Now, these are dreadlocks. Some people might have to have the nice, clean, always well kept up manicured type of hair. Some people are not going to care about what their dreads look like. Some people want to have them very well kept, the, 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 the new growth intact, everything smoothed down, the edges, the nice shape up. And then you have other people who really do not care. And those are going to be your free formers, your roster people. Now. Don't get it twisted. Some people do it themselves and some people go to the shop. They go to a, a loctician or a beautician or something like that. And it might make you wanna cut your hair if you're spending 70 bucks every two weeks. That's 140 bucks a month. Plus whatever else is going in your hair, plus whatever designs. I mean, it can get frustrating very fast. Now for the other side of that, some people like to just let it all hang out. Straight Bob Marley, straight Rastafarian style. You know what I'm saying? And the other side of that, the plus side is there's zero maintenance. There's zero money for the maintenance, period. Like you might twist your hair once just to separate it or separate your hair like once or twice and that's it. You wash it, you keep it clean, you moisturize it, you move on. So, number three on why people might get discouraged and want to cut their dreads off. Discrimination in the workplace. I think this is some bullshit. But, in our reality, 2017, this is what we're facing. For whatever reason, people chose to make laws against dreadlocks and natural forming hair. Yes. It is legal by federal regulation for our, an employer or anyone to discriminate and not offer you a job based off of your hair type. Now that shit is crazy. But since this is reality and people need money, people need to pay their bills that might make you want to cut your dreads off. That might make you want to say, you know what? I'm going to need this 2200 a month. I'm gonna need this 500, 5,000 a month. Snip, snip. That's some straight bullshit. Now this shit right here, this is one of my pet peeves. If you go back and watch any of my other videos, you know that I'm a person who requires less product in their hair. I do not like to see fucking buildup and crust and gunk and shit in my hair. So I, I, I don't praise the gels, the waxes, the, the kits, and the kaboom. I don't, I don't fuck with none of that shit. I keep it simple, moisturizer, oil, keep it clean. So number four is going to be poor upkeep. If you have tons of buildup in your hair, and you notice that your hair is snapping off every other day, you wake up, you got a dread on your pillow, you go to the store, somebody picks up your hair off the floor and hands it back to you like, here, man, here's your dread. I mean, that's very, very discouraging. So make sure you keep your hair clean. Make sure you're washing it. Make sure you're keeping it moisturized. Make sure you're keeping a certain level of oil on it. And really, honestly, I'm a person that disagrees with 
the whole let's wash our hair once a month thing or every two weeks. Wash your fucking hair. That's fucking gross. You sweat. The environment is dirty. If you be around people who smoke cigarettes, blunts, fucking dog hair, cat hair, your spouse's skin dust in the air. Like, there's a lot of stuff that collects onto your hair. Your hair absorbs water like that. Have you ever seen how dust collects to other objects? Like, it it really pulls it in very, very fast. So make sure you keep your hair clean as well. Because that's definitely a reason people will get discouraged and want to cut their hair off. <laughs> so number five, I'm not sure if this is a goodie or a baddie, but another reason that people might want to cut their dreadlocks off is because they're receiving too much attention from the opposite sex. Ladies, they're probably getting a whole bunch of cat calls, a whole bunch of whistles, a whole bunch of, hey, shouty, what's your name? And the, you got the guys on the other side probably getting, oh, you're a handsome guy, you're this, you're that. I mean, that can be a lot for somebody who's new to that type of attention. Now, think about it as this. Do they have a spouse? Does their spouse notice all the new attention that they're getting? That would definitely be a reason that someone might cut their dreadlocks off is because the spouse or in the relationship that they're in, they're making that other person feel a little bit uncomfortable by receiving all that attention. So that's definitely, I'm not sure how to mix that, but that's definitely one of those reasons that people might cut their dreadlocks off. And I've seen like a million videos of this online. So number six is, Probably the most common reason why people will want to cut their dreadlocks off is to have loose hair back. Which, not gonna lie, I think about it a lot. Coming out the afro, grabbing the blow dryer after you get out the shower, you got the big fluffy fro, you put it in a ponytail or two ponytails or whatever you do. I can definitely say that I think about that a lot. but. When I think about my hair snapping off and breaking off and being all damaged on the ends and just being rough in the summertime, too hot in the summertime, just like really, really heavy. And then in the wintertime, you gotta do something with it. You gotta keep it bundled up or you gotta keep it moisturized. You gotta do all this extra stuff to it. That's a lot. But you also get that feeling of being very fresh and clean when you have loose hair. Hopping in the shower, rubbing your fingers down in your scalp, getting it all through your hair, getting all that dirt and grime out, combing it out. And you know for a fact all of that stuff is out of your hair. So that's definitely a reason that somebody might want to cut their dreads. And I, I, I got to say, I could probably agree with that. Now, number seven. People might just want to change styles. There's nothing wrong with that. This is probably gonna be the people who dye their hair a lot. You got the, the red tips, the blonde streaks, the blue, the purple, the yellow, the green dreads. And you know what? After all that dying, now they're gonna just do the, do, do the uh, fade up from the bottom and keep just the mohawk on top. And then you know what? Right after that, they cut their hair. They cut their dreadlocks off because they wanted a new style. Next time you see them, they have the high top box with the with the boosy fade, with the lines on the side and the, and the T going through the top like Nino Brown in New Jack City. I mean, they just, all they wanted was a new style. So that was their reason to cut their locks off. And you know those guys miss the braid outs. They miss the pinups. They miss the twist. They miss the interlocking. They miss the gels and the dips and the and all that stuff. Now they don't have any they don't have any dreads anymore. Their dreads are gone. So sad, right? And now today. So sad we've come to the end. But some people, believe it or not, started growing their dreads. For the sole purpose of being on a journey, of being on a spiritual path, on reconnecting their physical with their mental and seeing what it was, see what it was all about. And that one right there, I definitely can connect with. 
there's a lot of people on the journey trying to find that inner confidence, that inner who am I? And sometimes it's just the end of the journey for them. And that's just another reason that someone will cut their locks off. They surpass the many years of getting their hairs twisted. The slick down edges, the satin pillows, the do-rags. But throughout that, just make sure you find whatever you're looking for spiritually. Make sure you find whatever you're looking for mentally. And at that point, when you do cut your hair, you hold on to whatever you found. Don't lose that. Because if you lose it, it was all for nothing. And that's all I got for y'all today. Dread Life 101. Make sure you guys like. Make sure you comment. Make sure you subscribe. And if you got any videos and tips for me, make sure you hit me up and do the same. Guess what, YouTube? I'ma holla at you.